You know, because happiness is a feeling. You know, something, you know, happens and you're happy. Something bad happens and you're unhappy. You know, happiness is based upon happenstance. You know, but joy is an attitude. Joy is a decision and it is an attitude. It's a, it's a posture, it's a position, it's a place. And you know what? When something goes on on the inside, it usually shows up on the outside. You ever make hot chocolate? Mm -hmm. Or a cup of tea? You ever take a pot of water and you put it on your stove? And you got something to do, so you put it on your stove and you go and get what you need to go, but what reminds you to come back? Whistle. It, what's going on on the inside shows up on the outside. And the Bible says out of the abundance of our heart, our mouth will speak. What's in your heart is going to come out your mouth. That's just what's going to happen. And if you are joyful, there's going to be joy coming out of your mouth. That's just the way it is. If you're abiding, if you're in a close relationship with me, my word is abiding in your, your heart and your, your, your mind. He says, you can ask whatever you want, and, and it's going to be done to you. That's what he, God said that. He said, you ask what you will. You say, well, that's, that's kind of like a blank check. No, it's better than a blank check. You can get things by asking God that you can't get with a blank check. That's just the truth of it. Jesus said, I want your joy to be full, and your joy becomes full when you're praying for someone to get saved, and they get saved. And you're praying for a genuine need that you have in, in your life and your family, and you're praying, and that prayer is answered. And he says, ask and receive so your joy may be full. God wants your joy to be full.